Saudi took conquer Dajia how hello everyone and welcome back to my channel in today's video I am going through the seven ways or steps not ways the seven steps to finding your language learning partner now what credentials do I have for giving you these six steps well I am a veteran of finding a language learning partner and you got to kiss a lot of toads before you find the prince and as that applies to this you've got to go through a lot of language partners before you find the formula that works so the first way of thing you must do to find a language learning partner and that is to find an app that you can find one on and my personal favorite as you know from my previous videos is tandem but there is also hello talk if you don't want a language specific app you can use facebook i think facebook is a great resource for example myself i am in various language learning groups on facebook and it's really easy to find language learning partners on there so tick you've found your app and you know where you're going to find your language learning partner now what do you do the second thing is you need a great bio now i don't want to make this sound like you're dating because you're not but you have to treat it as if you're going on like tinder or something because personally the first thing i do is i look at someone's bio to determine if they're someone who i could gel with and be friends with ultimately because i feel like a language learning partner should be someone that you can talk to as if you would talk with a friend in terms of liking them you don't want a language partner that you don't even like <laughs> in that bio i think it's really important to really make clear exactly what you're looking for so if you want someone who can have phone calls with you so you can practice your speaking put that down if you want to practice your reading put that down so for me at the moment I, my focus is on speaking thai and improving my spoken thai so in my bio i have put there that i am looking for Thai speakers who are willing to practice speaking with me and obviously I will reciprocate and help them with their spoken English. Step three and this is still we're still creating the account guys we have not moved on yet. I think personally have more than one photo of yourself. I think on my profile I have three pictures of myself. The reason why I say this personally I'm not a huge fan of accounts that only have one photo. Now, of course, that person could be the loveliest person under the sun. However, because it's online, I feel like there is a level of, you have to be very cautious with who you're speaking to. And I think it's very clear to see if someone's photo looks like they've just robbed it somewhere. Basically, you're a typical catfish. You need to be comfortable with the person you're speaking with. You need to feel like the person on the other end of that conversation is a real person and is who they say they are. Now, you've made your profile. You're ready to go. Step four is more of a, an emotional one. Be prepared for rejection. I cannot tell you the amount of people that I've messaged and said, Hey, my name's Victoria. This is the last bit of partner. And then you get no reply. So be ready for rejection. Do not take it personally, okay? If they don't want to reply, then that's their loss. But don't take it to heart. Do not think, oh, well, I'm just going to give up. No, 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 no. That just means you haven't found your language learning partner yet. So do not give up. Keep going. Step five, you have now found your language learning partner. This is a really big one. And I think that is to offer assistance. And this can even be before you found them. So for me, my opener tends to be something along the lines of, hey, insert their name. I'm Victoria. Victoria, I would love to help you with English. Or I would say, if you're willing to help me with Thai Chinese, I'd love to help you with your English as well, so that we can exchange tips and tricks. That way, you're not just kind of asking for stuff, but you're giving stuff. And I think not just in terms of language learning, but in general in life, when you're willing to help others, you'll normally find that what you get back is tenfold. So always be willing to offer the assistance, even put it in your first message, hey, I would love to help you learn English, hit me up or something like that. And then you probably see that more people are willing to come back, give, not just take, offer that assistance, show them that you're a kind, giving, amazing person, as I know you are. Step six is to find out if they're a match. If that person isn't a match for you, and when I say match, I mean someone that your personality gels with, because you're not gonna wanna speak to someone who bores you, or someone who doesn't get your jokes, because come on, you're hilarious, why aren't you laughing? Like, 
why isn't the other person laughing so you need to speak to someone who you feel is a great match because i feel like you'll get a lot more out of the relationship if you treat it and feel more like your friends rather than you're in school and you're being made to work with the person who sat next to you you don't really like each other because you're sat next to each other you have to work with each other and now you're stuck no one wants that finally step seven you've downloaded the app you've done your bio you're ready to offer that assistance you found your match and now you're together you're learning the language keep the conversation flowing there is a tendency for i think especially just with the modern world that we have and we get distracted by so many different things we're pulled in so many different directions that conversations can end up dying so keep that conversation flowing think of things that you want to say think or things that you want to learn make sure that even if the convo stagnates and there's a lot of time just hit them with a hey how have you been and then again you kind of put life back into that relationship that conversation and it's only by keeping the conversation going that you then will continue to learn and the learning will evolve and continue and progress and progress and progress and progress and that is the formula and steps that i use when i find and make my language learning friends it has been very beneficial for me i have met and made amazing friends using the various apps and I have retained said friends by treating them as friends and it was only by making sure that we were a good match at the beginning of the introductions that we have now developed such great friendships because like I said had our personalities been so completely different that we just clashed at everything we would probably not have been friends because the way I see it is if I wouldn't talk to you in the real world why would I talk to you in the virtual world so those are the steps that I have I will be making a follow-up video to this one the follow-up video to this one will be about how you can maintain that language exchange partnership ways that you can really build on it so that it does become a really good long-standing relationship between you and your language exchange partner so if you want to see that and you want more tips on how it can be done smash the subscribe button down below but also what i'd love you to do is hit the like and in the comments tell me the way you pick your language learning partner because you know we're all different so put down below so that others can learn from your experiences more videos to come about language learning partners trust me i've got some stories so i will also be doing a video about my horror stories in finding language learning partners but as that does bring us to the end of this video you know the drill okay I want you to have a blessed day and until next time, Sawadee Tukkonka, Sajian, goodbye everyone.